My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of my life as a zucchini and for the month of January every Sunday I'm going to talk about an animated movie that doesn't get much attention and I'll review it. So my life as a zucchini gets the first review for that series and I thought this movie was really good. I should say that I did not watch the French version, the original version. I did watch the English dub, but honestly, I thought the English dub was very good. Um, it was never distracting, which is typically my issue with dubs, and everyone gives a good voice performance. Eric Abbott carries this movie very well. Ness Krell is also good but the two standout voice performances to me are Wami Beckman who brought a lot of depth to his character and Nick Offerman who brought a lot of warmth to this movie much needed warmth I should say and like this movie does not lean away from its heavy subject matter it fully embraces it and because of that you've got a very heavy movie like this movie might look light and p playful but it's anything but that it is fully aware of some of the circumstances kids grow up in and how it affects the kids on a deep deep level and there's just a lot of subject matter you wouldn't expect in a movie like this And it makes for some fully realized characters where you just can't help but feel bad for them. And there is this constant underlining sadness to every frame. And I also like the fact that the kids get fleshed out. The kids are given depth. But the adults aren't for the most part. Because it doesn't try to justify any of the shitty parents here. It just shows how it affects these kids. And I, I thought, um, this movie was just, it, it, you look at the cover and it's just not that. And it's just, it's a lot. And I feel like the movie hits the emotional beats it needed to. And it does have those feel-good, wholesome moments when necessary. So, really well-balanced movie. And I loved the stop-motion look. Like I said, it does kind of look playful. It looks like toys in some regards, especially with the buildings and the vehicles. But I think there is so much artistry and vision in this movie. It truly has a unique style, which I really loved. And yeah, and oh, I should say, this movie's like 65 minutes long. So it just flies by like that. Uh, perfect one time, I'm happy it didn't overstay its welcome. But um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say this movie is great though. I do really like it. I don't know how often I'll rewatch it. But um, it's definitely good. It's got... Great stop motion animation. It's got some great characters. It fully embraces its thematic core of these abused and broken kids. And it really hits the emotional points it needed to. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie, I definitely recommend it. And I'd give my life as a zucchini a 7 out of 10. My rating on this movie could go up, but for now, it will remain at 7. But have you seen My Life as a Zucchini? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos soon, and Gavin out.